Alright, so I'm doing pig because I had a bit of a try at Legion and I hate it, so we're doing pig. <laughs> this might be quite difficult though because pig's M2 is uh, well known for not being great. But our game plan is we've got an add-on that uh, gives us only two traps, but whenever we're crouched we've got 16 meter aura reading. So I sent myself to an indoor map and we're basically going to play Scratch Mirror Myers. That felt weird, I kind of slid along that table, but anyway, moving on. Oh, we definitely gotta play hit and run, because uh, I think loops we might be okay at, but we definitely can't hold W. Well done from her there though, I thought we were gonna get a pallet out of that. We should have got a pallet out of that, but she didn't want to drop it. Nice little mind game and she didn't react fast enough. Let's crouch here, check for sabos or flashlights. Cause yeah, she's also onto her pallet, so don't want you saving her, Ada. Ooh, I almost got hold there, that would have been funny. Okay, I'm guessing that person will come for the rescue. We should be able to see them. I wish I had got there a little bit faster. It would have been a better scare. This dash on this map at least isn't too bad. Maybe on a more open map it'll be a bit worse, but it's not doing too bad. They hit behind the gen well, but I could see them. <laughs> I hear them rather. Yeah, so I'm running at a nurse's calling because it it's a longer distance than my aura reading, whereas the scratch mirror might, so you can see further away than a nurse's calling, but a nurse's calling does help with a 16 meter aura reading ability. And we'll take her to our Gift of Pain hook. Usually I run Sloppy Butcher as Scratch Myers, so I figured I'll just run the M2 equivalent of Sloppy. We're allowed to have some fun. They gotta go this way for the unhook, so let's uh, give him a little jump scare. <laughs> I like how Cheryl's like, oh shit, go back, go back. Oh, we just barely had enough range on that. Uh, they probably could have given us a hard time if they just held W, but they decided to take a hit instead. Damn, I thought she would vault back. That would have been a very awesome play, but I look like a fool now. No, she's too far away. Sorry. There we go, Ada's got a quicker reaction time than I think it was the Yunjin we got here first. Hello, what are you doing? But they got lucky there, they even resorted to putting a lookout out in the hallway, but <laughs> the lookout didn't do their job. Yeah, we were a little bit uh, ambitious with that attempt. Ugh. 
Oh, uh, person hiding. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's such a good feeling when you're playing killer and you're using a rarer add-on and the survivors just don't know it. That was a really good body block from Ada. Well done. Oh wow, I completely missed them. Oh man, so that now that Cheryl has to mend, maybe heal if she wants with uh, Gift of Pain, and then do a box as well. Oops, I uh, accidentally cancelled that, but that was probably the best bet anyway. Really? That's happened twice now. I feel like that area's got some kind of weird collision, but maybe I'm just trash. Uh, Nurses Calling and Gift of Pain have been doing a pretty good job of keeping them injured, so it's sad when I hit them and they don't go down. Yeah, I didn't realize the pallet is up. Also, why did I stand up to kick it? I don't need to stand up. I don't even know she was there, I was just hiding from uh, the person coming down the stairs. I was a little ambitious with that one, but <laughs> hey, if you don't try. I think we've established that the Ada is pretty good. There we go, Yunjin managed to get the body block. I was going for the Ada, but oh well. <laughs> what went on there? That was the ultimate 360 or like 720 I think it was. That's a surprising down. I thought that she'd react faster than that, but yay, I, I'll take it. Ooh, this lady's gonna jump down. <laughs> well, if she doesn't know the add-on, she does now, or can make some assumptions. Yeah, okay, if they're just holding W, then we can stay uncrouched to get close to them. I only realized once I had started just how terrible of an idea that ambush was. Oh man! And Ada's gonna take the body block for the rest of them. Come on, Ada. You've played so well up until now. That was such a bad move. Oh, I thought I was going to have to hit them twice because uh, Ada pulled me backwards out of the door. Ada hit second stage before, so she's dead now. Oh, the aura reading can be very nice. I love aura reading. I don't know if we can get a hit there. I think this bed is a little bit longer, but we'll try for a little bit. That was a good decision from her to not stay at the pallet. Oh, and a really good flashbang as well. She's wisened up now. She was looking not so great at the start of the game, but now she's got a lot better. No, I'm an idiot. I let her go back to the pallet.
pallet no more now. Now I'll be able to dang you, I hope. Okay, that was a little silly, but I mean, she's not gonna escape, so why not have some fun? There we go, once the pallet was down, she needed to leave. There wasn't... She wasn't gonna win a million 50-50s in a row. So, new builds. So this time we're running with one add-on that slows down our charge-up time, but speeds up our dash speed. And then our second add-on counteracts the downside, so it increases our charge-up time. We've got Face the Darkness and Thwack, so we can make the survivors scream, and then maybe we get some head pops. We've got Hex Ruin, so that we can, you know, slow down gens. And then we've got Devour Hope, actually. I know that we can't M1, so we can't get Insta Downs, but I'm thinking it'll just add some pressure, which might cause either head pops, or maybe we do manage to get some 5 stacks. Yeah, I think there's nothing we can do here at Pig Tree. Maybe we try to get the pallet, and then maybe we can do something. Very, very friendly hit there. Well, uh, never mind for Devour Hope adding extra pressure, I guess. Okay, there we go, that's fine. I knew we probably wouldn't get a hit from that because we left so early, but leaving early, I threw him off the gen faster as well and stopped it from popping. And I am very happy to take that pallet. We've got a bit of extra range because of the extra speed, but uh, that was never gonna hit. Good, good. It's good every time we get stunned by a pallet, because first of all, the pig makes a cute noise. And second of all, because the, some pallets are just gonna destroy our M2. Why is this Vittorio too good? Damn it, we were just too slow. But also, she screams because of Face the Darkness. I thought that reset the timer. Let's go after you. We don't want to chase the Vittorio anymore. He's too good. Did I say that you can touch my Hex perks? Uh-uh. Yui didn't leave, she's been patiently waiting for me. This tractor, some of the loops, especially on Cold Wind, are pretty rough for us, but uh, I think this tractor we kind of dominate in. He falls, finally. Come on, Michaela, you can't do that right in front of my face. They did get Yui up, though, but at least she's got a trap on. <laughs> Michaela, really? I can't hear the beeping fast as well, so that means that the trap has still got a decent amount of time. She should not be going down for that. Yeah. Vittorio, I thought you were there. Yeah. 
I'm actually going to leave that up for now, uh, down rather, because uh, I might be able to use it for Thwack to try and stop people from doing their traps. Yeah, we definitely need to crouch before we uh, go onto that ledge. Oh man, I didn't hear a vault. No, I've been crouching whilst chasing this entire game and now that I'm standing up, I would have been able to get it down from it. I got it down anyway, but that's besides the point. No, I don't think there's any getting that Yui. Let's just pick up. <sighs> Completely lost her in the corn. Oh, don't return to the tractor. I will emerge victorious this time. <laughs> Let's go! I adapt. That is a million times more funny because she fell off. I loved that. Honestly, I think that was closer than what it looks. I mean, we won't get it because we are just not fast enough. We can't go far enough. But that wasn't too bad. And uh, Thwack will help us track through the corn, which is something that I'm not very good at. Damn, I got excited. I feel like TNLs is probably our thing. It's probably where we're strongest, but he wasn't running there. Keep chasing this way, that way he'll have to go to the TNL after he drops the pallet. Or he can keep going this way. I like how he stands there still waiting for us to kick the pallet or jump over a window. It looks so polite. <laughs> I love it. Really? I feel like even after we've kicked the pallet, there's not much we can do. I missed, I couldn't see where she was. <laughs> Easy hit that time though, we managed to cut her off. <laughs> no way, I was wondering what she picked up. So she's been storing that flashbang there with a major plan. She's got to pick up that flashbang just when she needs it. And she misses. Nowhere to run now, Zarina. Nowhere to run. <laughs> so I'm gonna try, try to get up close first and then I'll crouch and dash. Oh, he went the other way. I'm really surprised that he didn't drop the pallet. I think we would have got him if he... if we predicted the right way. See? He just stands there and waits. He's great. Nope, sorry, Vittoria. I love you, but you go into my no-go zone. I didn't think that double back. Yeah, she makes Shack window. Okay, interesting. Uh, she should have gone back to the window. I might get her now. 
Not quite, but I can body block the window. There we go. That was a good play. I feel like I felt like I had slowed down, so that feels nice. Shaq is a 50-50 now, and I don't think that's an area she should be going. A 50-50 when uh, going down means the basement doesn't sound too good. Well, unless you have adrenaline, of course. <laughs> No, they're too fast. Yeah, at least give me boops, please. Thank you, Zarina. Thank you for the games, well played all. So it turns out that M2 only pig is a little bit harder when you don't sing yourself to your best map and use your strongest add-on.